And what up players, it's Warboss Tay up in his mud. Welcome to my first video for the Roadhog 08-22 Cancer Awareness Build 2014. And here I'm showing you what I was able to finish in my first uh, session gluing together this Gorka slash Morka knot. And uh, so we're going to do a little bit of a sped up video now with the time lapse. So here we go. I started with Tamiya Clear Cement and in the instructions it says to build up this head part first. So I'm gluing together uh, this piece here and uh, it seemed to go pretty well for me. These are all pieces that I trimmed from the sprue ahead of time and cleaned of mold lines. And then here I am gluing the uh, hatch in the belly, the troop bay. I'm going ex exactly according to the instructions, the, the manual, so each of the steps going exactly how it says to. You can see that I marked with numbers the sides of my pieces because I'd, I'd clipped them out and I decided to clean them up and put them on the side before I get going, so I wanted to make sure I knew which piece was which. So I just took a little bit of Drakenhof, or not Drakenhof, I'm um, sorry, uh, Cantor Blue, and then I just painted the numbers on the sides of the pieces. I love the Gorkonaut kit, but I think I'm going to uh, create mine like a Morkonaut. I think uh, it's, it's a little bit more funny, fluffy, it, it's got that awesome custom force field on it, so I really liked the way that looks, so I think I'm, that's the option I'm going to go with. Here are the legs. I like how the legs are built. They've got two halves with giant pistons on them. You've got the bottom with these little buzz saws and the heel and the, f and, uh, the front of the foot, which you don't really get to see. And uh, I made a little bit of a mistake with the pieces. I think I put the heel part on the, the front of the foot. So I'm just reapplying the glue there. Uh, again, Roadhog, thank you so much for putting this little project together. And uh, for any of you who don't know what it's about, it's uh, to raise awareness for cancer. And if you're seeing all these videos that say Cancer Build, uh, Cancer Awareness Build 2014, that's what it's for. Just so that if you have a little bit of money to spend and to donate, then uh, the cancer, different cancer research uh, institutions and uh, organizations could really, really use the money. I think I said this in my original video, but um, my uh, I had a, 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 a close personal uh, person in my in my life. My mom went through cancer, so it was uh, it was kind of tough getting that taken care of. Um, but there, there are many out there who weren't as lucky as she was. So, uh, if you have the the extra money and um, you need a good cause to support, definitely think about the different cancer organizations. All right, as I was talking, you can kind of see how I went into the uh, the legs and the feet build there, and you can see how much detail Games Workshop has put into these legs. So I left those on the side, and now I'm gluing the um, gosh. Ex exhausts on this little back block of an engine. I thought they were pretty fun because they're all kind of different, a little bit different, and uh, you glue them in and then you put them onto the bigger piece there and stick that bigger piece onto the back of the head. And yeah, there you have it. I actually ended up also gluing this guy together. He was just a torso and a head and I stuck him in and I forgot to hit record. So thanks for watching everybody. Uh, we'll see you in the next build video when I try to add a little bit of Imperial Awesomeness to it. Laters!